Well, certainly it's good for the likes to be here with session mates. It seems like it's the reunion tour of the Guardians of the Truth continues. Um, and uh, we'll ask the flag bearers to come, and here they come. And the Morrises to join us right here. And um, as session mates, uh, they, uh, and, and we, retired, we retired the Dodge yesterday. Uh, we're appreciative of who they are and, and a, a honorary session mate, proclaimers of the, proclaimer of the gospel, <laughs> grandfathered in. So we're, we're glad to be here with you uh, on this day. I thought I would bring out the Guardians of the Truth uh, commissioning program. And as I was looking through it, um, who would have thought that the training principles of Major Raymond Cooper would be your, your <laughs> organist at your tour? Uh, that Captain and Mrs. Donald Canning, the directors of personnel, would be on several committees and who knows what all they do here in the core. And as well, I believe today, the Secretary for Program, then Lieutenant Colonel um, Harold, Harold and Betty Henson, were the program secretaries. So who would have thought that they would all be present on this day? And then we were looking fat, for, well, we also put where everybody went on these days. We won't go through that. But, uh, Ken, you went, uh, you did discover on the afternoon service, right, That Ken? you have, uh, you're in good hands in the pulpit, in both cases, but with uh, Ted, who uh, was the session speaker in the afternoon uh, in the appointment service. So, uh, what a great day that was. It just seems like yesterday, 33 years ago. <laughs> Well, Jesus reminds us, uh, and guardians of the truth uh, and proclaimers of the gospel, I am among you as one who serves. And 2 Timothy 1.9 says, He has called us and called us with a holy calling according to his own purpose and grace. Salvation Army is a vital part of the universal church of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And in a day and age like this, how, how important and vital it is. And, and as such, commissions godly men and women to provide spiritual and administrative leadership. And we gratefully acknowledge that throughout its history in all parts of the world, God has provided Salvation Army leaders for the hour. So we rejoice today for in his appointment of Majors Ted and Pam Morris as the Corps officers of the Clearwater Corps. And uh, you, you have uh, just completed three years of in, beautiful service uh, at an appointment that, uh, of great demand in Orlando, Florida as the Corps officers and area commanders. So I think you're ready for this task, but I know you come with the sense of humbled and be believing that God will lead, that the God who saved you and made you his own, the God who called you into this service, the God who was with you when you signed your covenants and received your commission is Salvation Army officers, the God who has led and sustained you through the years is the God who today will continue to be your sufficiency, will empower you for the responsibilities which are now placed upon you. And we would challenge you to live uh, and to lead with love. Love is a verb. It's Corinthians 13 love, an unconditional love. Agape love is the foundation for the best and noblest relationships that humans are capable of. And I believe you both uh, have that type of love and have demonstrated that through the years. And you hold yourself accountable for this kind of love. A love that is patient, having self-control in difficult situations. Love that is kind, showing encouragement and enthusiasm. Love that is trusting, placing confidence in someone, and listening carefully as a sign of trust. Love that is unselfish. Be unselfish with your decision making, your team building, and finding ways to draw out the best thinking from those around you. Love that is truthful. The need for truth is both corporate and individual. Corporately, always get the truth on the table so that the best possible decisions can be made. And individually, speak the truth in love. And personally, 
be open to hearing the truth. Love is forgiving. When we choose to forgive, it releases wounds to heal. Love is dedicated. Stick to your values in all circumstances and live out your covenant as Salvation Army officers. Called by God to proclaim the gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ as an officer of the Salvation Army. To love and serve him supremely all my days. To live to win souls and to make their salvation the purpose of my life. A timely reminder as you are installed today as the leaders of the Clearwater Corps. Major Ted Morris as Corps officer, you will be responsible for the leadership of our mission in the Clearwater Corps, for the loving care of saints and sinners alike, and for the supervision of all aspects of the Salvation Army in this area. Do you rely on the Lord to enable you for the task entrusted to you? I do. Major Pam Morris, as a Corps officer, you also will provide leadership of our mission and shepherding for the officers under the, and soldiers under the Clearwater Corps. Do you also rely on God to enable you for your task? And all across this congregation and there on the holiness table is the word of God uh, for the army of God, whose truths you are privileged to preach and to uphold as the basis of all Salvation Army teaching and Salvationist living. Do you promise to be servants of the word? Uh, and to uphold the Bible as the only divine rule of Christian faith and practice. We do. Ted, you were our session flag bearer and carrying that flag proudly with the guardians of the truth. But today you stand under the Clearwater Corps Salvation Army flag, under whose folds you have served for many years. Its colors and its motto represent the essential themes of the Army message. Salvation through the blood of Christ, sanctification by the Holy Spirit, and purity of heart and life. Will you both allow your lives to exemplify those truths, and will you make every effort to help fellow salvationists to hold our doctrine sacred and to maintain the integrity of our message? We will. And here is the mercy seat in every core around the world. And I think we just opened court uh, in, uh, in 130 countries uh, as of this last couple of weeks is the mercy seat, the focal point of, uh, of bringing people to decision and uh, to, to ministering uh, to, to, to believers and unbelievers to closer communion with God. The lost will be found. The prodigal will come home. The disciple will receive the Holy Spirit and find power to love to this end. Will you make the mercy seat the focus of each of the core and social service ministries of the Clearwater Corps? We will. The basin and the towel is also on the holiness table this morning. They speak not only of the Salvation Army's special ministry to the hurting, but they speak also of your appointment as Corps officers. For each of you is the servant of servants. The greatest power you will exercise in this Corps will be the power of an example to the flock an example of servanthood. Will you pledge to follow the lead of him who said, I am among you as one who serves. Amen. Now, if you wouldn't mind, you join hands. <laughs> Not a wedding service. <laughs> but you come to this leadership as husband and wife. What a great, amazing strength of the army that has served us so well. And your vows to one another in the sight of God have and will continue to be a great source of strength. Will you continue to nurture your love and allow your marriage to bless others? We will. Ted and Pam, your brief of appointment outlines the duties and responsibilities of your office that is in line with the orders and regulations of the Salvation Army. You are both expected to conduct the affairs of the office responsibly and efficiently with Christian stewardship and to motivate the staff to do likewise. You will be their servant leaders. Are you willing to accept the privilege and responsibility of this appointment? We are. Amen. In recognition of your willing response to these challenges, I now solemnly charge you in the presence of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and in the presence of the congregation, your brothers and sisters in Christ, to preach the word of truth, 
and to uphold its principles. To stand by the flag and to uphold the grace and dignity of its message. To help raise up officer candidates and other leaders to perpetuate and enlarge the Army's ministry. To empower and release people of God, women and men together to utilize their spiritual gifts and fulfill their calling and make full proof of their ministry and to administer the work of the Salvation Army in this command as trustees of its property, its finances, its social service ministries, its people, its well-being, and its further development. We now install you as the Corps officers of the Clearwater Corps. You bring your own unique gifts. We've known you all for many, many years. And uh, to this appointment, you'll prove to be a great source of strength. But we urge you above all else, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Let's pray. As Ted and Pam go to kneel and pray, I'm going to invite the congregation to stand and to reach your hands towards them. Shall we pray? Thank you, Lord, for the way you have prepared the Morrises for this day. We are grateful for their individual gifting that they will use to honor you. We ask that you would lead, guide, direct all of their ideas and decision making. May they speak the truth from sincere hearts, be bold in their convictions. Lord, grant them wisdom and insight. Mm. Bless this mm. core family as Majors Ted and Pam Morris lead the way. In your name we all pray. Amen. You can welcome again your core officers this morning. May God bless the Morrises. Amen. May God bless the Clearwater Corps. Amen. And may God bless the Salvation Army. Amen. Amen. Amen.